Good day, good day, good day, beloved of God. This is Prophet West coming to you again on this day. And I have instructions. I want to specifically speak to someone who's listening to me right now. And I want to let you know that you are an, a overcomer. You are a overcomer. And the reason why you are overcomer, because God said you are overcomer. Now, you might feel defeated. You might feel bad. You might feel down. You might feel useless. You feel like you might feel like you don't have no value. But the moment you accept Christ in your life, he's made you the apple of his eye. You are you are uh, you are his pride. You are you are his his delight. Uh, you are everything. You are everything positive and everything that God has. It belongs to you. One of his promises that is his will to give of his kingdom unto you. And, and for that reason, you are more than a conqueror. The Bible says that the, his right hand and his holy arm has gotten him the victory. That means that he'll overcome. That means that he's won. That means the battle has already been won. And which means that because he's in you, that means that your battle has already been won. You might you might feel defeated. It might seem bad, but the battle has already been won. You might feel, you, you might even have suicidal thoughts at times. And uh, you, you might even have friends that don't even call you no more. Don't even check on you no more. You might have, you might have problems with family, relationship with your, with your mother, with your father, uh, with your spouse, uh, with your kids. Your life might be out of wits. Your, might, your li life might be out of control. It might look so impossible. It, 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 like, it may look so impossible to, to, to rectify, to change. Uh, but I come to tell you that you are more than a conqueror. The thing you must realize, the Bible says, as a believer, we walk by faith, not by sight. We don't look at what we see because what we see is not always right. And see, that's where the atmosphere operates in the realm of our vision, in the realm of what we hear, in the realm of words, in the realm of what we feel. And because of that, oftentimes he'll make he'll give you an optical illusion and he'll make it appear that this is actually how it is. This is actually how your life is going to go just because you feel bad, just because you don't had bad luck in life. That's because just because you done messed up in life. That don't mean that you're a failure. That don't that don't mean that you're terrible because you've done bad things. That don't mean that you're useless. That That just means that you need to get back up. Because the Bible says that uh, a righteous man will fall seven times, but he'll get up. And for that reason, you are an overcomer. You have the victory. You are more than a conqueror through Christ. So this is what I want you to do. Shake it off. Shake it off. Whatever you're dealing with, shake it off. Shake it off. Shake off pain. Shake off depression. Shake off hurt. Shake off that unforgiveness that you have in your heart. You got to let it go. You have to let that go. Yeah, he hurt you. Yes, she hurt you. Backstab you. Whatever the case it is. But the Bible says that all things work together for good to them that are the call according to the purpose and, and uh, to them that love the Lord. So there's going to come a reward. But your reward comes after your pain. Your reward comes through you going through your pain. For the Bible says to glory in tribulation for tribulation work experience, experience hope and him that hope maketh not a shame. In other words, in other words, and you hoping the end of the matter, the end of what you're going through, the end of your tribulation and the end of your pain, the end result, it will not be a thing of shame, but it will be something of good. For the Bible says that the blessings of the Lord will make you rich and add no sorrow to it. So in the end, the reward, the, 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 the last voice, the benediction in your situation, the benediction that's going to end in your situation is going to be is going to be good. It might feel bad, but it's going to be good. It's going to be good. There are prayers that you've prayed. They hadn't happened yet, but you have to be patient. But you can't faint not at the faith. It says that if you endure, if you endure to the end, then there's a reward. There's coming a reward. But you have to hang in there because at that place where you want to give up, that's at the place where God has given strength. Jesus was at that place of wanting to give up. 
But at that very place, God gave strength. So at your place of wanting to give up, at your place of wanting to throw in the towel, at your place of wanting to put the white flag up, wanting to let, the, the, let that, that rope go and let go, at that place where you are right now, I'm speaking to you to let you know it's not how you feel it is. It's not what your eyes are telling you. I'm telling you based on the word and based on God, you are more than a conqueror and you are going to make it. You are not going to be defeated. You're not going to die alone. You are the blessing. You shall be the head and not the tail. You shall be blessed when you go in and you shall be blessed when you come out. For God has given you dominion. And that means that, that everything that you deal with, everything that you fight and face in this life, based on the word, is under your feet. Why? Because you are more than a conqueror.